So this video is about everybody's favorite person, John Bradford. The spot's in St. Pedro. He's doing a 50-50 and a 5-0 on it. It's a wooden hubba. The ground, when you land, are grates. Little jagged grates, so you don't want to get your fingers stuck in there. You don't want to fall on it. Other footage you're going to see in here is two to three years worth of park footage that we've accumulated. Favorite skater, Mike Peterson, one of my favorite people to hang out with. No, he didn't invent the Peter Blunt, but people coined the Peter Blunt after Mike Peterson. Took off a layer of skin Dude, on his head. Yeah. on his head. Fucking skate life. You did that on flat, didn't you? What? Did you cut your hand off? Yeah. Let me see your hands. Oh shit. Feet up, dude. Big time. That's yeah, actually a yeah, that was, that was hard. That's like a few layers. Skate, dude. Check them out, dude. We love to drop them hammers, baby. Oh, not as bad as I thought. So well. Not as bad as you thought. <laughs> That was the worst thing that could have happened. That was but he so... is fine. How did he He's get fine. right here? Oh you got it. My God. First fucking team. What's now? What now? Tail slider 50180. What's up, baby? How'd you sleep? <laughs> Day one in the wild. <laughs> John Bradford here tapping in. Creeping on me, yeah. Got ready for this good time? You guys look real comfortable. <laughs> the boys, oh my god. I'll fix your red line. Baby. I'm going so fast as I do with the 180 that it takes a little bit more effort to set up correctly. So nine times out of ten, I'm not getting the correct setup. So I'm missing pop, I'm missing everything, and it looks trash. 
you can't go fakie on it because you got to ollie over that crack. Not worth it. It seems like the winning. Actually, yeah, because then I'd have to do like, like either like a like a switch mani over it and probably get shaken from the crack, or do a fakie ollie, and that's probably the same as the 180. So might as well do the 180 and make it look better. And that's the damn crack. He's kind of got to come over. Crack spot. Number two. How many tricks can you do down this? I love that trick. Let's see how many? Yeah. All right. Was it good? Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. All right, serious though. Next try, Dale and I both have this. Another dollar. I haven't done this chicken forever. I'm just gonna give it some good practices. Honestly, I'm gonna have to practice doing 180 fast and then setting up for that. If I can get a comfortable setup, then I'll just fling it every time. You just want a piece of wood? Nah. I, I, I want to do it like that. I want to do the 180. I want the fast setup because it's a whole thing. It's not just like okay, you took the you took the easy way out. It's like way sicker. Right. It, it'll be like it'll make the clip that much better. All right. You gotta work for everything you want. It's like. But I'm about it. Tell him, Dale. Tell him. Hell Dale. yeah. Tell him. Dirty ass hat. So the microphone on my camera just stopped working. So I'll tell you about the place. It's in Crestline, California at a school. I bought a house up there and started going to all the schools up there to try to find spots. I'm sure if you're a skater, you've done that or you're going to do it now. There's photos of Jeff Rowley at the school, Jordan Hoffer. It's kind of funny here at the end that John's just kind of like pushing all crazy. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of left it in. Thought it was funny. But yeah, check out the schools by your house. Uh, this, if we keep going with more and more questions, bro, the video's huh. going to be like 20 minutes of questions. Like, Not really. Because uh -huh. you can cut out what you want, what you don't. <laughs> Bro, you I'm Spencer. Like now I'm Spencer. Bro. Yeah. You look like easy. I like that. Dude. Spit that bar. Jackie. Mike Peterson, who's your favorite skater? I like a hammer. Like Doesn't whoever. matter. Yeah. Grant Taylor, Dennis Buzinitz, and Kyle Berard. Is Grant regular or goofy? What's Grant Taylor? He's regular, right? No, he's goofy footed. Is he goofy? Because that front side air. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just talked about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, goofy. Everything. All right, what yeah. are you? I'm regular. Uh, opposite footed. What does that mean? I don't know. I just. I'm gonna add them up at the end and see if people uh, pick like. Booznitz is goofy footed and Berard's regular footed. And I have so many though. Like I'm a f I like Tony's like one of my favorite skateboarders. Okay. You know, Tony's he's regular footed. I I, just, I mean everybody is because it, it's so unique. I just uh, my, I always say Grant Taylor though when we talk about it because of his natural. It's so natural. The only other comparison would maybe be like Barley. Or somebody, or, or or Westgate's another one. It's just so natural. It's it's like sucks because they make it look just so. But the shit they're doing is gnarly. One more question: Did you invent the Peter Blunt? No. <laughs> How did that get coined? I had a photo in Trans World that Remy Stratton took, mm -hmm. and he called it a Peter Blunt in the photo. Ah. Yeah, on the on the pit wall at Kona, it was a. Uh, like a black and white photo that Remy took. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's kind of the one who called it that. That That's I funny. can remember. But then it, all of a sudden it was like, they're calling it that. I don't take credit for it though. It's cool. That's yeah. pretty sick. There were some dudes that were doing it. But mm -hmm. I think maybe the way that I was doing it was a little different. Mm -hmm. But I think the trick had been, obviously had been done. Mm -hmm. Honey, what's for lunch? 